Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create this intro, which is actually from the popular TV show, The Big Bang Theory. We're gonna be going over this part right here where it does this sort of fast going through of the pictures like so. That is what we're gonna be doing. I've created it right here in Premiere Pro. Uh, I only did a little bit because it is a little bit tedious, but you can see that we do the effect right there for, I believe it was 12 different clips right there. And I actually use movies for this, which is kind of cool to do. Just there's a little bit of motion in there. I believe they use pictures and using pictures is perfectly fine. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's get started. All we need to do is create ourselves a new sequence. So we can just go to file new sequence. Click OK, and then now what we're going to do is drag in our first picture or video that we want to do this to. We're going to click on it, drag it right into video one right there, and let's go ahead and change the sequence settings to match this. So now that we have this footage right here, what we want to do is we want to take the footage, we want to click on this scale button, go forward one, two, three frames, and then bring it up to something like maybe 125, right like so. And now that we've created the basics of the effect, after 125, we want to move forward two frames and cut it right here. This is so that we don't have a bunch of overhang, which will sort of slowly drag on our CPU and it'll uh, keep taking up more and more of our data as we go through. This way, it makes it a little bit simpler to manage for the computer. So now what we want to do is we want to zoom really far and I'm holding the Alt key and spinning the mouse wheel here so that we can see uh, pretty down to just the frames here. We want to then go to, uh, you can also grab this if you want to make this bigger or smaller so you can get it down to this view. We're going to take this, we're going to hold the Alt key, drag up, and then over to our cursor. So easiest way is to put this on the three. That's where we want. We want every three seconds. So if we would go to the three seconds, we can click on this, hold Alt, drag up, go to the right. Move the cursor forward three seconds, hold Alt to the right, just like so. You can also just hold Alt and then go over, and you see that little the little info box that's, that's going up right there, how it's plus minus. We just want those to go three every time. So we want to do this a number of times here. And this, like I said, it's going to be a very tedious process, but a lot of video editing will end up being something tedious at some point, but that's okay. It creates a neat effect in the end. So I'm going to go up to uh, 10 right here. So let's see, we're on video track nine. Let's go one more, hold alt, go up over three. So now what we have is we have a sort of nauseating effect. If you can see right up there, let me make this big. I'm gonna go slow here. All it is is just this going back and forth multiple times. We don't want that. What we want is a bunch of different clips. So the reason that we did alt every single time, we held the alt key and copy and pasted was so that we kept these scale parameters. This way, we don't have to go through and animate each one of these. Now we can do something really simple. So what we're going to do is go down the list over here on the left. We're going to hold the Alt key, drag to this one, go to this next one, hold the Alt key, drag there, hold the Alt key, drag there. What we're doing when we hold the Alt key, and I've done a video on this, is we are replacing with this. So whenever we hold the Alt key and drag over, we take that footage and we immediately just replace it with this piece of footage. And what's great is that since we're replacing the piece of footage, we already have the scale properties down. So now instead of having to add each one of these in individually, what we've done is we've created the template all the way up and now all it is is just a little bit of dragging and dropping all the way over. So our last one was the 785 there. So we'll go to the 34. Having good names for your clips is also going to be something that's going to help. These numbers aren't the best. They're unique, which is good, but they are a little bit hard to read which one is which. So yeah, that might just be a little bit of a, a technical thing that you want to do. This can get very, very tall. So maybe you want to like drop down the audio during this so that you can see all of your video clips at once as you go up this, your sort of choice right there. So now what we have is you can see the effect up there. I'll bring it back up. And so what we're going to do is just play it back right like so. And that is exactly like this effect right here, except like I said, they go a little faster and they use pictures and actually have a ton of content that they go through. But this is how you would accomplish the effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you don't see more videos similar to this one, go to that subscribe button and make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.